Exchange traded funds, or ETFs, are becoming an increasingly popular investment option. You may be considering whether it's time to start investing in ETFs. So over the next few minutes, I'll take you through the basics of ETFs and outline why they might be beneficial to a portfolio. But first, what are ETFs? ETFs, or Exchange Traded Funds, are listed managed funds that trade on the ASX, exactly like shares. Each ETF is constructed of a portfolio of underlying securities that reflect an index, for example, a market index. ETFs combine the benefits of managed funds and shares. Similar to managed funds, ETFs provide a diversified portfolio of securities through a fund. Similar to shares, ETFs are purchased through a broker and are traded on the share market and are continuously priced throughout the day. ETFs are one of the fastest growing investments in the world, with over $1 trillion invested globally. So you might be wondering, why are ETFs becoming so popular? There are five good reasons to consider investing in ETFs. Firstly, instant diversification. ETFs provide exposure to a diversified portfolio of securities with just one trade. Secondly, access a transparent and flexible investment strategy. With a full list of the underlying holdings published each day, you can see the investments that you're buying. By knowing the underlying holdings and being able to buy and sell on the share market, an ETF can be easily used to complement other investments in a portfolio. A third reason is continuous liquidity. You can buy or sell at any time during market hours and respond quickly to take advantage of changes in market conditions. A fourth reason is lower costs. ETFs are generally less expensive than the costs associated with purchasing a large number of individual shares or investing in an actively managed fund. And lastly, tax efficiency. ETFs are less likely to generate high levels of realised capital gains than actively managed funds. This is due to lower levels of portfolio turnover or trading of the underlying securities, and this creates a more tax-efficient investment. Here's a brief overview of how ETFs are created and traded. Investment companies, like Russell, identify or construct an index. Then they build an ETF by investing in underlying securities that reflect that index. The ETF issues units through what is known as the primary market, each unit represents a proportional holding in the underlying securities. The units are purchased by a market maker, an authorised participant registered with the ASX. The ETF is listed on the ASX with a three-letter ticker code. Then, ETFs are traded on what is known as the secondary market. The market maker will act as a buyer or seller of ETF units into the secondary market to retail and institutional investors who wish to buy or sell their ETF units through a broker. ETFs use all the trading strategies associated with shares, such as market orders or limit orders. There is no minimum investment size. And settlement occurs on the third business day after the trade date and the information is held on a share registry. Every day, a full list of the underlying holdings of the ETF is published to the market, so you can see the exact nature of the underlying holdings. And this transparency also ensures accurate pricing by the market. Any income or dividends received from the underlying securities are paid to investors periodically, so for example quarterly or semi-annually. Any associated franking credits are also distributed to investors. Investors will receive distribution statements and an annual tax statement. How are ETFs priced? Well, the daily holdings are used by the market maker to calculate both buy and sell prices throughout the day. And these prices will change to reflect any changes in the value of the underlying securities. At the end of the day, a unit price, or a net asset value, is calculated by a third-party custodian. This net asset value, or NAV, is the total value of the assets in the ETF, simply divided by the number of issued units. As the holdings are published daily, 
and the units available can change with supply and demand. This generally ensures that ETFs will trade at prices close to the net asset value or true value of the ETF. ETFs have become a very important investment tool around the globe and are becoming extremely popular with Australian investors. So if you're ready to get started with ETFs, speak to your financial advisor or broker or visit our website for more information.